In this video, I remade God of War in Unreal Engine. If you don't know, God of War is an action-adventure video game, with the latest game being inspired by Norse mythology. It's about exploring the nine different realms with your son. Along the way, you come into conflict with monsters and the other gods of the Norse world. With God of War Ragnarok coming out very soon, I can't wait, so I've decided that I'm going to make my own version of the game so I can prepare for it. The plan was simple, I'm going to make my own version of God of War and I'd only have 24 hours to do it. In the game, the main character has this mythical weapon called the Leviathan Axe. The way it works is no matter how far you throw the axe, you can always recall it and it will come back to you. So this was the first mechanic I needed to create for my game. Luckily, ages ago, I found this Unreal Engine project on YouTube where the character has a God of War axe. I made sure to download it. I tried to find the original video on YouTube to pay credit, but I could not find it. Maybe it was removed, but shout out to the guy or gal who made it. This saved me a lot of time, so I was very grateful, although it could still be polished up a bit. Every month, Unreal Engine gives away free assets on their marketplace. One of the free assets I claimed a while ago was a bunch of elemental particle effects. Inside this pack, there were some ice particle effects, and well, the Leviathan Axe is an elemental ice weapon. Now that I had a bunch of great particle effects, I added one of them to the axe and made it so that whenever you threw the axe and it lands, it would spawn some of these cool ice particle effects. Now, the next thing to do was change up the player character model. I know a lot of us dislike Fortnite, look at what they did to my boy. But today, we can be kind of grateful to them, because they provided us with a free, easy to access Kratos model. On Sketchfab, I found the model they used for Kratos in Fortnite and downloaded it. Then, using Blender and this plugin called Auto Rig Pro, I was able to rig the model to the Unreal Engine mannequin. After a couple of attempts, I managed to get a decent looking version of the model working with the Unreal Engine skeleton. I mean, his head is a bit disconnected from his shoulders, but let's pretend that we can't see that. Now we had Kratos and his axe, everything was looking correct. I realized I could actually further improve the axe throw. Included in the elemental particle effect I mentioned earlier was this ice attack. The only problem with this particle was there was this massive icicle in it. So I removed the icicle and made it so that whenever you threw and recalled the axe, it would spawn this trail effect, which looked kind of cool. So now we had one of Kratos' main attacks finished, and it felt kind of fun to just throw and recall the axe. The next thing I wanted to do was make an enemy with a combat system, so that I had something I could attack with my axe. I headed to Mixamo, and I found a couple of good animations. Now, I used this Mixamo converter software, shout out to Terriblist Studios, to convert the animations I get from Mixamo to work with the Unreal Engine skeleton. I've used this software many times before, but today, when I tried to convert the animations that I had downloaded, the software just randomly banned my IP, Bruh. so I could not use it. I was trying to make this game as fast as possible, and needed to make the game in 24 hours and hopefully have this video out before the game releases. To fix this issue, I quickly downloaded the VPN, and after getting that all sorted, I set up the animations in Unreal Engine, and gave my player character three attacks. The first two were part of a combo system, where he'd swing his axe once and then twice if you attacked again. And then the final attack, I made him do a little run up and then smash the ground with his axe. To polish up the final attack, I added a bit of screen shake and added some ice particle effects which would spawn when he did this attack. So, now that Kratos could attack, the next thing I wanted to do was set up some enemies. Back to Sketchfab, and I found this zombie character that I planned to use. In God of War, they had these undead ice creatures. I figured that I'd make my zombie blue and give them glowing eyes so that they would look kind of similar to this. And I think the final result didn't turn out too bad. Now was onto the combat system. The way I made this was by giving my axe a sphere trace that would detect whenever the axe overlapped with another object 
you can visually see it as this red circle and whenever it overlaps something it will turn green so you can see when I hit my enemy with the axe the sphere will turn green when this happens I plan to make the enemy take damage the only problem was that this sphere was always on so I could walk up to my enemy and they would take damage this was a bit unfair so I made a system so that only during specific parts of my character's attack animation the sphere would be turned on and if my enemy was hit by the sphere during any parts of these animations they would take damage for the running up attack I made it so that whenever I slam my axe into the ground there'd be a sphere around the player and basically anything in that radius would become damaged so now my enemies could take damage the only problem now was that when they took damage they just stood there and it looked a bit odd so I gave my enemies some health and made them randomly play one of two animations when they were damaged now I wanted to set up what would happen when my enemies died ragdoll physics in games is pretty cool so I wanted to make it so that whenever I killed my enemies they would kind of enter this ragdoll mode and be launched in whatever direction they were hit I tried to implement this system and I want to show you how this worked out. I have no idea why the enemy behaved like this and I could not find a solution. It was really strange as I had made similar systems before. Maybe it was a problem with the model so I just made the enemy play a death animation whenever they died. To polish things up I added some blood particle effects that would appear whenever you hit the enemy with your axe. So now we had an enemy that we could kill. Although I still needed to add one more thing as the enemies kind of just stood there and did not behave in any other way. I made it so the enemies could move around the map and would chase the player character whenever they saw them. If the enemy got close enough to you they would try to attack you but since you're a god of war I made it so they can't damage you. There were still a bit of problems like the enemy still could move when it died but I fixed these all in the end. I also upgraded the project to Unreal Engine 5 and added a bit of camera shake whenever you hit an enemy with the axe. Not gonna lie, the game was feeling and looking kind of decent. If you are watching so far and enjoying, consider hitting the subscribe button, it helps out a lot. Now that we have the axe, the enemies, and a combat system, the last thing I needed now was a level. I did not want to design a level from scratch, so I checked my Unreal Engine content drawer and found this nice ice winter forest. I think this was another free asset that Unreal Engine gave away a couple of months ago. This is why I always claim the free monthly assets that Unreal Engine gives away. You never know when you're going to need them. I opened up the level and it looked great. Then to finally polish things out, I added some sound effects to my game. On command, Kratos can now say his iconic catchphrase, boy, 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 and I also placed some destructible mesh and enemies around my level. That's all for this video. Thank you for staying if you've made it this far. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.